Hey, how's it going? Let's take a look at what's in the news. Some of the world's most prestigious awards will soon be handed out, the Nobel Prizes. There are a bunch of different categories, from medicine to peace, but to find out why they're a thing, we have to go back to the beginning. It all started with a bang, literally. Alfred Nobel was a Swedish scientist in the 1800s, and one of his most famous inventions was dynamite. The legend goes that a French newspaper accidentally reported that Nobel had died, even though he hadn't. What? And the article said he became rich from killing people, because dynamite was often used in war. The legend says he didn't like that. So when he actually died, Alfred Nobel decided his massive fortune would be used to set up prizes for people who have helped make the world a better place. The categories are physics, chemistry, physiology or medicine, literature and peace. Yesterday, three scientists were awarded the 2019 Physiology and Medicine Prize for research into how our cells change depending on how much oxygen we have. They think it might be able to help treat some types of cancer. The rest of the prizes will be handed out over the next week. So we'll keep you posted. Protesters around the world have caused huge problems in major cities as part of something called the Extinction Rebellion. Basically, these people want governments to take immediate action to tackle climate change. But instead of the peaceful student demonstrations we saw a few weeks ago, these protesters have trespassed into buildings, destroyed property and blocked roads. So far, hundreds of people in different countries have been arrested. Saturn has just overtaken Jupiter as the planet with the most moons. Go Saturn! An astronomer from Carnegie Science in the US has discovered 20 new moons around the ringed planet, which brings its total to 82. Jupiter, meanwhile, only has 79. Poor Jupiter. As far as moons go, they're pretty small, like only about five kilometers wide, but they still count. Now they've been discovered, all the moons will need names, and Carnegie Science is holding a competition for people to send in their best ideas. What about Jack? Speaking of space, an Aussie guy who's been helping kids talk to astronauts on board the ISS for the past 27 years is getting ready to say goodbye. If you could ask an astronaut on board the International Space Station any question, what would you ask? What is the most challenging thing about living on the ISS? Over. Ooh, great question. One of the most challenging things for me has been being away from my family for a long time. These guys are talking to actual astronauts who are actually on the ISS. And it's all thanks to this guy, Tony Hutchison. For the past 27 years, he's been running NASA's School Link-Up program, which has connected more than 1,300 schools around the world with astronauts. It all started in 1992, when Tony first made contact with Russian cosmonauts through a setup he had at home. And he became sort of radio pen pals with them. Pretty soon, NASA jumped on board and got him chatting with their astronauts too. It's quite an adrenaline rush when you hear the, uh, hear the voice come through. You say, hear Tony, loud and clear, go ahead please. Now he's decided to retire. And he'll say his last goodbyes and hang up his mic at the end of the year. Now it's time to meet some people who have a spring in their step. US superstar Simone Biles has had two moves named after her at the Artistic Gymnastics World Champs in Germany. The crowd absolutely flipped out watching Simone flip out with this triple-double floor move. She's the first female athlete ever to pull that off, so they named the move after her. It's called the Biles 2. She did an original move on the Beam 2, which is now called the Biles. And Thibaut definitely has a spring in his step because this is the first time in two years he's been able to take a step. He's a tetraplegic, which means he can't use his arms or legs. But this robotic exoskeleton is helping him walk again. This French invention communicates with a bunch of sensors implanted in Thibaut's brain, so he can control the suit just by thinking. Right now, the suit's just an experimental prototype, but it's a pretty exciting look at what's possible in the future. Well, that's all we've got for you today, but before you go, we want to know what would you name a moon? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe because we've got a lot of cool videos coming.